What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups and in this video I'm going to tell you 5 Nintendo Switch games that you should avoid this holiday season in 2018. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it! Okay, so I've got a short list here of five games that you guys need to make sure you avoid this holiday season. And some of them are okay games, and others are just like games that uh, you totally want to avoid. And some are broken, and it just isn't great. So uh, I've got five here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit those five right quick. Make this a short little video. First, I've got Super Bomberman R. Now, I actually enjoy this game just because of what I boiled it down to. And that was, this is simply just a simple Bomberman game. I didn't expect anything more, but I had fun playing it. It's a really kind of simple game. It's nothing crazy, nothing out of the ordinary. But I would definitely avoid this game if you are a fan of Bomberman because this just doesn't feel right when you're playing it. Um, I got this day one, and I beat it day one, but there wasn't much out back then, and this game is one of those games that I like the cutscenes, they're really graphically nice, but the story is kind of weird, and there's really no reason to have a story on a Bomberman game, in my opinion, but it's okay so that's the first game and these are just in no random order except for the very last one the very last one is the worst so that's my one of mine now I then have Nintendo Labo and this one is kind of a weird one and the reason I say don't pick this up is because Christmas Day comes you wake up as a child you go down you find you get a Nintendo Labo and then you open it up and what do you find? You find a game that you have to put together yourself before you can play it. So, okay, you think, I'll play it for an hour. I'll play it for two hours, whatever. It's gonna take you way more than that to play it. Now, I own both the variety pack and I own the robot pack. I haven't even put together the robot because it takes eight to 12 hours. It takes eight to 12 hours to put this together before I can even play it. Now, am I complaining about that? No, this is probably pretty cool if you are someone who enjoys making things or creating things, that probably makes it worth it. But purely out of a gameplay standpoint, you're not gonna play eight hours of this game. You're probably not gonna pay, play three. So it's just whatever, it took me like two and a half hours to put the piano together and then I played it for 30 minutes and then was like okay next one I thought it was cool don't get me wrong it's really cool and this is awesome for like kids and stuff but this is not a gift you want to get because if you have to spend 8 to 12 hours making stuff it's kind of pointless so that's why I put that on here next I have Sonic Forces now I love to make jokes with this about this game with coworkers saying, this is so great, this is the best Sonic game. But you know what? I say that because I know. And I beat this game, sadly, I, I hate to say it, but I beat this game back when it came out. Um, and it just wasn't fun. It There was parts of it where it could have been made fun and been cool, but then it goes into some weird stuff and just, hard to control, hard to follow game, and it's just nothing that special. I had fun with it, I guess, but it wasn't something I would go back to. So I say you definitely skip this. If you're gonna get a Sonic game, go get Sonic Mania, way better, and probably about the same price. So this Sonic Forces, don't pick it up. Next, I have an unopened box of Has Been Heroes. And that's because I actually used to own this game and I sold it back to GameStop for more than I paid for it. And then later on, this thing went on sale again and I picked it up again. I don't know why I picked it up. 
uh, it, it's an okay game. It's really kind of tough. It's really grindy, and it just seemed to be like something that they should have put more effort into it because uh, really this is just an okay game. I wouldn't pick it up and give it to anyone, to be honest. If you're getting a gift, this is definitely a hard pass. Hard no, don't do that. And definitely make sure you um, pass on this one for sure. Then I've got Troll and I. Don't pick this up at all, it is a broken mess. Disclaimer, right there. I played this game, was gonna actually review it for you guys because I knew that it had gotten bad reviews. And I wanna say I picked this up for like 10 bucks, so it was worth giving it a try, I guess. It says on the back, best original game. I tried to play this, and I got to a point where it wouldn't let me move forward. It was literally broken. There was like this mound or like a log or something that I had to jump over and it just got stuck. It wouldn't let me go past it and I was like, this is so lame. This kind of probably could have been a good game to be honest. It, it looks like it could be fun, but realistically the graphics suck. It drops frames like crazy. At one point it was like under 10 frames per second. It was like, uh, 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 uh. It was just terrible. So definitely don't pick this up. I think this game probably could have been somewhat an, a, of an okay game. Like if Panic Button did this, it probably would have been a great game. Let's be honest. Panic Button does great things. But this thing just, I know it's a small developer and everything, but it's just really weak and I'm really surprised it's even made it to the Switch. But that leads me to my very final game and that is WWE 2K. Do not pick that thing up. I haven't even picked it up because I have seen some terrible reviews. They talk about playing like 3 on 3 or 4 on 4 and it just slows way down which is really crazy because you would see something like the 2k series for the basketball game and you're like okay that looks really good that looks good and then you're like what what is ea doing with 2k so with that being said make sure you do not pick up either troll and i and wwe this season avoid those games at all costs the other games you might find fun if you're weird like i am but honestly those games weren't even that fun to be honest um, but if you are looking for games make sure you avoid all of these games on this list as best as possible so with that being said if you like this video go ahead comment down below let me know are there games that I missed on this one now I know I had six I said top five but I secretly added one in at the end if you didn't catch that but what can you do about it that game is so terrible that I didn't even have it, so I had to make sure you guys didn't get it as well. But make sure you comment below, let me know, are there games that I missed that need to be on this list? And maybe we can uh, figure something out and maybe I'll do a second part like this again if you guys can let me know. Uh, with that being said, don't forget about Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Big Cartel, Patreon, all that stuff is down below in the description. Check that out if you're interested in it at all. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Thank you so much for watching, but make sure you don't forget to have a good day.